Hi, this is Igor from hdhad.com. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I will show you how to use Fusion titles to create custom wipes to black. First, in the effects library, let's search for Fusion. Fusion Composition. We'll drop it here on the timeline and step into Fusion. In the Fusion page, we'll add a background and connect a paint tool to it. We can use anything that creates an alpha channel to make a custom wipe connected to media out. Let's set a single display and stretch this out so we can see our screen a little better. The purpose of the background is just to give paint something to paint on. It won't really factor in our final. We'll take alpha all the way down to zero. Zoom out a little. Select stroke tool. Let's go to brush controls and select a custom brush. I was playing with these pre-built brushes. You can make your own. This one seems to do a decent job. Rough brush zero one. It's pretty small so we can size it up but it's still sort of small. However, if you type in a sufficiently large number, this slider will rescale itself. So we'll just dial it back a little bit, maybe like that size. Zoom out some more. And we need to paint only on the alpha channel, so I will turn red, green, and blue off. So I have completely covered the screen with, with our stroke. I'll use the selector tool to select the stroke. And here in stroke controls, I will decrease the right on and position to zero for the first frame. Mark a keyframe and let's step 10 frames ahead and animate the right on. So what we have is if I push play, just a sort of a paint wipe to black. To make this a little more fancy, we'll also add the blur tool and I will not adjust any blur settings at this point. We'll select all of our nodes, right click on any of them say create a macro. By the way, I have gone over this in greater detail in another video called DaVinci Resolve Fusion Titles. You may want to look that up. But this is how this works. Any parameter controls we select here will be exposed to you on the edit page. So for blur, we'll say uh, X and Y blur size. And then for the stroke that we made, we'll expose size of the brush right on start, right on end angle, size, and spacing. Okay, we'll save this macro into a specific location which edit page can see. On the Windows machine you access that with a percentage sign app data, percentage sign. Go to Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit, Titles, and I will overwrite an existing setting file called Test. I'll tell you in a moment why I'm doing that. Uh, if you're doing this for the first time, you would create a new name and uh, save save your preset under that name. You can consult the manual to find out the appropriate paths for Mac and Linux versions of Resolve. We'll save this. Yes, we will overwrite. At this point, we can close that and go back to the edit page. So the reason I saved over an existing file is normally when you create a new Fusion title template, you have to restart Resolve for it to read the templates. Since the preset called test had already existed and I overwrote it, it will be available to us without having to restart. So I typed in test in the toolbox. If you don't want to search, you can also find it under Fusion Titles. It will be likely at the bottom. Yes, there is test. Drop it here. Let's switch to a single display. And there's our custom wipe to black. So now, remember those settings that we selected when we were building the macro? They're available to us right here. So for example, we can change the brush size. We can also change the speed of the wipe. Uh, we set it to 10 frames, but I can reanimate that in here. If I want to make it quicker, I'll step a few frames back, mark a keyframe, and finish the write-on right here. So now it's a little faster. There's the blur. Size of the stroke. Spacing. So you can play with these settings to get really interesting results. And any of these settings are animatable as well. Let's try something really chunky. I'll animate the size to make it quite large here at the end. And I'll make a cut right here. There's our custom wipe to black.
I also want to mention a new software tool that I released recently through my software company, Metafide. It is called Timeline Loader. It's quite useful in projects with tons of timelines. If you work on short form stuff, you know what I'm talking about. So here's a, a, a bunch of timelines. When you go to the, the deliver page and you're setting up render jobs, it can be quite difficult to find the timeline you're looking for by scrolling through this uh, drop down list. So what Timeline Loader does is gives you a a table of all the timelines in the project you can sort out alphabetically you can sort out by the time of the creation or by any other of these parameters simply double clicking a timeline will load and then you can go on with setting up your render job as an added bonus you can also export a PDF and a CSV of this timeline list